Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you one of the best Nintendo Switch emulators out there right now as well as how to get it for yourself. So let's get right into this. Alright guys, so today we're going to be talking about the Ryu Jinx emulator. So first off, before we get into the details here, I just want to say that the Switch is a relatively new console, and what that means is it's probably still going to be some time before this emulator is flawless. Now don't get me wrong, Ryu Jinx is a great tool for playing Switch games on your PC, Mac, or Linux device, but it's always good to remember that a good amount of games are not fully functional or not even playable at all. With that said, we're going to start by going to the Ryu Jinx website, which is going to be at the top link in the description. Go there, and on the front page, click the button that says download the latest build. Click your platform, and a download should start automatically. Let it download wherever you want. Once it's done, right click and extract it. Next, open the extracted folder and scroll down until you see ryujinx.exe. Open this up. It may take a second and it's likely you'll have a little error message pop up saying the key file was not found. Just click OK because I'll go over this in a second. And ryujinx should open just fine. So now go to file and select open ryujinx folder. Once in here, you need to open up system, and here you need to place a file called prod.keys. I legally can't tell you how to get this file, but I'm sure the comments on this video should be of help to you. Anyways, I've got my prod.keys file right here, and I'm just going to pop it on in. Now that you have the keys, you need to install a NAND, which is also a very important tool to getting your emulator up and running. For this, you go to tools, click install firmware, and first, I'll leave a download link in the description below where you can get the latest firmware. This will be in a zip file, so press the first option, and then select the firmware you just downloaded and click open. Now it'll ask you if you'd like to install the firmware, and of course, click yes. It may take a second, and then it's installed. Now in the corner, you can see it says your system version. So now let's go through the options on this emulator. So in settings, you can enable Discord Rich Presence, which is totally up to you. It really depends on if you use Discord and you want your friends to see what you're currently playing. Here you can click the system language and change it to whatever you want. Your game directory is where all the games you wish to play will be, so just go through your PC and locate your games. Then just do add and you are good to go. Most games should be running by now, so that's pretty great. As for the input tab, this is where you'll set up your controls, but I'd recommend the default ones for keyboard users. Xbox controllers work on here as well. You can also change the controller type from handheld to pro controller to whatever. For me, I'm just going to use the pro controller. And here you can enable or disable docked mode. What this does is it can improve your game visually, but some games do have problems with this mode. For now, I'm just going to enable it and move on. Lastly is the system tab, which I would leave alone except for if you'd like vSync to be enabled or not, which that is totally up to you. Now just hit save and all your games should appear right here. And guess what? If all went well, Ryujinx should be up and ready to play your Switch games. I'm just going to show you guys, this does work and everything should be great. So yeah, that's about it for this tutorial. I really hope this helped you out, and if I did help you guys kill your quarantine boredom a little bit, then please drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.